Okay, good afternoon everyone. Attorney Josh Sells here uh, for another uh, a brief tax talk. Uh, many of you are subscribed to our The Tax Attorney newsletter that goes out. Get a lot of comments on that and a lot of feedback from folks, so that's really helpful. Uh, so we're definitely very glad about that. Uh, again, uh, my firm, JM Sells Law, we definitely want to be a resource to you. Uh, tax can be overwhelming. There's so many different facets to it. And so we just try to be a resource to those in our community. Uh, well, this is another episode of Tax Talk. Uh, this is part of uh, the Tax Attorney series. And uh, we try to take some of our messaging online from the Tax Attorney newsletter. And so today we're going to have a really quick uh, um, episode just talking a little bit about what the IRS's response is with the COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, again, I don't think anybody uh, out there has failed to hear about this pandemic. Clearly, uh, this is a, it's a, a worldwide issue right now. And a, a lot of folks are struggling, not, not just, not just uh, those who are struggling with the, the disease itself, but uh, financially and, 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 uh, and with employment and you name it. And, and folks aren't exempt from the IRS during this time. There's obviously a, a lot of issues there, uh, folks owing tax money, uh, currently dealing with an issue with the IRS or what have you. And so I want to update everybody on what the IRS is doing. Uh, just last week, last Thursday, the IRS released what's called uh, the IRS People First Initiative. And what this entails is if you currently have an installment agreement with the IRS, uh, so that installment agreement is something where you have a formal agreement set up to pay your back taxes monthly, uh, the IRS will suspend those payments uh, from now until July. Uh, this is very rare. The IRS generally doesn't offer this kind of relief. Uh, so that's that's a big deal. Uh, the, the other thing that the IRS is doing, of course, uh, uh, under the uh, uh, direction of the Treasury Department is extending the tax filing deadline for 2019 uh, to July 15th, including the payment deadline. Uh, they'll waive any penalties and interest that may accrue uh, for the 2019 taxes. Uh, but that's a, another big thing that they're doing. Uh, of course, you've heard about the stimulus money, uh, and that's based on your 2018 return. If you have not filed a 2019 return, uh, if you haven't filed either of those, uh, you need to get that you need to get that filed right away. Uh, that's how they'll know the address. That's how they'll know the bank account if you're going to have it direct deposited into your bank. Uh, so it's very important that the, those do get filed. And then, the, and then the biggest thing that I wanted to talk about today, we've all heard about the IRS offer and compromise. Uh, that's the settlement program. Uh, a lot of my clients, uh, they, they, they hear about that program. You may, re may know it as the, the pennies on the dollar. Settle your tax debt uh, for pennies on the dollar. Uh, of course, I've talked about this many times. It's... It's not that simple. It doesn't take a it doesn't take a a good attorney with a lot of negotiation skills to to, to settle the a tax debt. It's it's really a math formula, is what it is. Uh, for the IRS offer and compromise program, uh, the IRS will look at your future income potential. So they look at your household income. And then they look at the net assets that you have, and that's how you determine uh, whether you would qualify for an offer and compromise a settlement. Uh, those of you who don't know, a settlement with the IRS is a scenario where you may owe, say, $30,000. And uh, because you have a lower income and you don't have a lot of disposable assets, uh, you come to the position where you're offering the IRS $1,000. If the IRS accepts that, then uh, that back tax is wiped clean and the IRS accepts your uh, $1,000 as payment in full uh, for that back tax. Uh, so why am I bringing this up right now in the middle of this uh, COVID-19 pandemic? Uh, well, while the IRS is not immune from the state orders to stay home, uh, many of the IRS service centers have shut down. Truly, many of you who may have called the IRS have found that they're not there. Uh, even as a practitioner, we have a practitioner hotline. They're not taking calls. Uh, so that being said, there's nobody there to review your settlement. Remember before we've talked about this where it takes the IRS up to 9, 10, 11, 12 months just to review your settlement when you send it in. 
okay? And believe me, they're going to have a backlog, a tremendous backlog of these settlements. And you may be wondering, well, how does that help me uh, do a settlement? Well, under law, the IRS has two years to approve or deny a settlement. If you don't hear from the IRS in two years, it is automatically approved. What does that mean? That means, theoretically, you could offer the United States government a dollar to wipe away a million dollars of tax debt. If the IRS does not review that within two years for an acceptance or denial, it is automatically accepted. Uh, so right now, it's a wonderful time to be doing the, an offer and compromise. If you have back tax, if you owe the IRS and it's been lingering out there, now is the time to take care of that. Uh, you want to get that in there uh, while you can. And the other reason as well, remember I said part of the equation for the settlement is your future income. If you've currently lost your job, if you currently had to dip into some of those disposable assets, like savings or maybe even retirement accounts, now's the time to do that settlement because remember, it's based on your future income potential. And if your income has taken a hit because of COVID-19, uh, you want to definitely memorialize that with a, a settlement at this time. Uh, so now's a better time than ever. Uh, give our law firm a call, 330-331-7611. Again, that's 330-331-7611. Uh, we love to give you just a free case analysis, let you know what your options are. Uh, and again, you know, we're, we're trying to be a resource to people. You would not believe how many phone calls we have had asking about uh, what's, what's the IRS doing uh, during this pandemic. Uh, so we, we'd love to jump on a call with you. Uh, again, there's a lot going on. Can't really condense it all into our, our short tax talk today, uh, but we would definitely love to hear from you at our law firm. Uh, well, until next time, uh, everybody stay safe out there. Look forward to hearing from some of you. Take care. <music>